Okay, in this video we're going to try to find the um, sample distribution mean, um, the z-score for and the example we're going to use is just SAT scores. So we're going to say that the SAT scores um, forms a normal distribution with a mu of 500, right, and um, a standard deviation of 100. And we're going to say we're going to take a random sample of just 64 students, right? So we're going to get 64 students, and we're going to say, okay, um, what was your average, right? And um, they're going to say, okay, what... Uh, 480, right, from that 64 students. So if we take a random sample of 64 students, what's the probability that the sample will be will be mean will be greater than 480? So um, we're going to put our mark at 480. And again, so we, our um, average is 500 with a standard deviation of 100, right? So we are looking at what's the probability that um, these students of, you know, this 64 group here will have a, um, an average, a sample mean, greater than 480. So 480 would be, I don't know, right about, it's almost right at the mean, but it's not quite, right? So right about there. So we're looking at, okay, what's the probability that this group will have a sample mean greater than 480? So it, we're looking for the, um, for the body. Right, um, because this body fills up just a touch more than the tail. I mean, this is almost 50 50, but it's not quite right. Um, so we're, we're looking for that. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is is find our um, standard, standard error, right? So we have um, standard deviation divided by square root of n. So we have um, was it 100 divided by square root of 64, right? So 100 divided by 8. So our standard error is um, 12.5, yeah, okay, 12.5. And again, I'm keeping my list, list of important information over here on the left-hand side. Okay, so now I know that. Now let's throw that into my um, modified Z formula, right? We have um, mean minus mu divided by standard error, all right? So we have a mean of... Um, well, 480, because we're trying to see if they can score, what's the probability of them scoring higher than 480, um, minus this average score of 500, divided by the standard um, error of 12.5. Um, okay, so what is that? Uh, negative 20, right, divided by um, positive 12.5. So we have a z-score of negative 1.6. So we're at about... Um, right about there, right? Okay. So we look up 1.6 in our unit normal table, and that shows us that, because again, we're looking in the body, right? We're looking in the body part of it, because we're trying to find out what's the probability of um, this group of 36, or 64 people, sorry, would be greater than 480, so we're going to look in the body. And um, so look in the B for body, the B column. So that is going to be 0 0.9452, um, um, or in percentage, then 94.52%. So let me just put that in there really quick. Negative 1.6 gives me a proportion in the body of 0 0.9452 or a 94.52%. So again, the question is, if you take a random sample of 64 students, what's the probability that the sample mean for those 64 students will be greater than 480? And the answer is, well, there's a 94.5% chance that those um, 64 students will fall, um, their, their average score will fall, you know, greater than um, 480. Um, so that's that's pretty high, right? Mm -hmm.